Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm starting to do my Christmas crafts to give to family and friends. And also I wanted to share it with you guys. This will be a quick and easy one and it is a no-sew key fob wristlet. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So all you're going to need is a faux leather and you can get it from any craft stores or online. But I got this one that I'm using from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using my blue cutting mat for this. I'm just going to remove the cover and as you can see, I have a washi tape on there. This way when I put the cover back on, I know that this is the right way for me to place it back onto the mat. So to place a faux leather, just make sure that you are facing it right side down onto the mat. So in design space, um, all I did was just put a rectangle and resize the shape to 11 by 1 in inches. Then I'm just going to load the mat into the machine to be cut. Now that it's been cut, just gently remove the material off of the mat. And right here, this is completely optional. I'm just going to cut the same size of each TV. This way I'm going to cover the webbing on the other side of the faux leather. You can use any HTV you prefer, such as glitter, metallic, it is completely up to you. So right here, I'm just going to use a heat transfer tape. I'm going to cut a piece to keep the HTV down onto the mat to ensure that it doesn't move away from the faux leather. Now I have my easy press at 280 degree, and then I'm going to press for 30 seconds. Once it's done, go ahead and remove the heat transfer tape. This is a cold peel, so just let it cool down before removing the backing of the HTV. Now that it's cooled down, I'm going to remove the backing of the HTV. Now fold the faux leather in half. And here's the keychain hardware, which I'm going to place it inside the mouth of these special pliers. Insert your fabric between the hardware, make sure it's centered, and then just squeeze. I do apologize about the video. I didn't realize that I was moving too far to show you guys what I was doing, but I know you guys get the idea. And there you go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. So for the next video, it will be how to sew the key fob bracelet. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.